guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my closet. Come on in. Okay, so I feel like the only way to truly appreciate the after for my closet tour is to show you the before. So here we go. Take a look at the disaster that was this closet before we fixed it up. So as you can tell, we didn't have enough storage. It felt like we were sharing everything. Also, this rack was much lower than the one on the other side of the wall. So it felt like there wasn't enough space to put stuff underneath and also too much space on top. And then of course, the biggest issue was there wasn't any place for me to put my shoes in an organized manner. <laughs> and there was a whole big space behind the door because the door opened inwards. All of my husband's clothes were on the bottom rack and it just felt like we were using the back wall but not enough of the rest of the closet. So here is the after. The first thing that we did was took off that door and instead we put a curtain and it's just much more open and prettier and it just gave us more space. So this is a little quick once over for you guys so you can take a look at everything and then I'll explain how I store and organize everything. So as soon as you walk into the closet on the left hand side, you can see my shoe wall. This is like my shoe gallery and this is where I put all of my heels. A lot of my heels are from Jess Fab and Marshalls and I have some from Lola Shoutique. We used Ikea kitchen rods. These are supposed to be for lids but instead we used them for my heels. I got six of them and I also placed one above the door. I prefer these instead of regular towel rods because they are a little slimmer. I wanted to make this an interactive tour, so I'm going to share with you three of my must-have shoes. These black pumps, I think every girl needs to have them, they're from Marshalls. I also have these black strappy heels, they're from Bar 3, they make every outfit a little bit edgier. Bar 3 is my favorite brand from Macy's and I actually won these off of Instagram, so that was very exciting. And lastly, these classic sandals from Just Fab, I really love this because the pattern gives a nice subtle pop to your outfit. Moving on to this wall of the closet, this is where all of my husband's stuff is located and stored. So we went ahead and moved that first rod up so that way it was perpendicular and level to the other rod on the other side. And then all of his clothes is organized by color and by style. So first there are short sleeves, then long sleeves, which he has a whole bunch of, and then his sweaters. This is my favorite sweater that he owns. I thought I'd share with you guys. This is from Express. Express and Banana Republic are the best to buy clothes for men, if you are wondering. Next, I have these two bins, and these are from Five Below. They were $5 each, and that's where he stores his shorts and long pants. These plastic containers are from Walmart and Target, and this is where he just has his basic clothing. And then on the larger one, he has his accessories, t-shirts, and comfortable clothing. These two bins are from Target. The first one has gym clothing and the second one has military clothing since he doesn't use that all that often. Next we have this cozy little rug from Marshalls and it's perfect to keep the toesies warm. I also have this ottoman from Marshalls and it's a great storage ottoman. You can sit on it and think, reflect on your day, put your shoes on, but most importantly it's awesome because it opens up and you can store some of your extra items in here so for me I put my go-to shoes and then on this back wall my husband has all of his shoes on a rack that we got from Marshalls as well and now on to the best part of the closet which is my side my clothes are organized from darks to whites to colors it's aesthetically beautiful but it's not the most efficient I would definitely recommend organizing it by type instead now instead on that bottom rack we just have heavier items some outfits that I'm planning and then my little jewelry organizer for earrings and small bracelets and such so for my closet, my favorite thing so far for fall is definitely this sweater from Target. It's a Kalanick sweater and it's so comfortable and warm. Also a Cognac leather jacket. Leather jackets obviously for the cold, but Cognac just has a special place for the fall months and I think everyone should get one. Alrighty, moving on to what saved my closet, these beautiful storage bins from Target, which now house all of my shoes. 
So I'm going to go ahead and step on my little Marshall step stool and show you what is in each one. The first one has my cool tone shoes, so my whites, my grays, and my blacks. This next bin is definitely my favorite, it is so cute, and it has all of my warm tone shoes, so nudes and browns. This next one has all of my colorful shoes, and then the last one complements the second box that I have, and this one has boots in there. So, moving right along from all of these cute little boxes, we go over here to this side, and I have the same boxes as my husband, except in reverse order. The first one has all of my clutches, and then the next one has bigger bags that are just a little bit more flexible. Another game changer in our closet was adding this bookshelf here to act as storage for some of my clothes, shoes, and bags. So this first rack I have camis, tank tops, basic t-shirts, and then graphic t-shirts, and then of course some hats over top. The next shelf has wedges and chunky heels that don't really sit well on those rods that I put the rest of the heels on. The next one has some of my bigger structured bags. Those are from Just Fab, and then over here some gifts from my mommy and daddy that are out on display. The next shelf has all of my bottoms, so over here I have skirts, then I have some shorts, and then behind those shorts some colorful shorts, and then over here are my most worn or just pants that I want to wear more often. The next shelf has some of more wedges, these are probably my first to go shoes, <laughs> and then the last rack has more bags. Probably the coolest part of our closet are these LED lights. We got these from Ikea and they just snap right into place. They're really cool because you can just have them go through each color kind of like Christmas lights or you can set it stationary on a specific color or you can have it so that it just transforms and melts right into the next one. <laughs> So, talking about my favorites over here for the fall, I have these booties. I got these from Forever 21. They are so comfortable and so cute. Definitely recommend. And then the Tastemaker bag from Just Fab. This is my favorite because it's so structured and it's really nice. And then I thought, why not share a clutch? I have this olive clutch from Fossil and I really, really like this one as well. Olive colors, definitely a must-have for the fall time. Moving right along, I have over here in this new little space my jewelry wall. I love this so much because it feels like I'm in a little boutique. And I have a whole video on how I made this, so I will link that below for you guys. And then on the floor here, because I don't really know where else to put this, I have these boxes that I got from Marshalls. They have my sunglasses, my belts, and then some random must-haves like perfumes and lotions and, you know, like a lint roller and stuff. Here's a cute story, here's a little back massager that says I will always have your back and this is one of the first gifts my husband gave to me when we were just friends. So that concludes my closet tour, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got some ideas and inspiration for a closet renovation for yourself. Give this video a thumbs up, have a fantastical day, bye! I'm back in love again. Falling back in love again